yeah hi guys good evening everyone what we discussed in the last session what we discussed in the last session yep yeah. in the last session we discussed about what is a data jpa how to develop application by using data jpa what are the methods available in the crud repository and what is find by method and what is custom query right can you please tell me what are the methods available in the crud repository save save all save save all find by id exist by save save all exist by id count find by id find all by id find all delete by id delete all by id delete delete all and delete all here you can pass list of entities as a input to delete the record here it is going to delete all the records from the table now it is something like a truncate option if you want to truncate the table then you can go for a method called delete all why we need to go for find by methods right if i want to retrieve the data by using some non primary key columns then i need to go for find by method when we are writing the find by method the method name is very important here because based on the method name only jpa will prepare the query for the execution right i don't want to go for that find by method also i want to execute my own query is there any option available to execute our own query yes what is that custom query is available if we want to execute our own query we have two types of queries one is hql query another one is native sql query what is the difference between hql and native sql hql queries are db independent queries sql queries are db dependent queries right hql query will use entity class name and variable sql query will use the table name and column name HQL query cannot execute in the database directly. SQL query can execute in the database directly. Performance wise, SQL queries are better. Maintenance wise, HQL queries are better. Perfect. Now we are able to write some SQL queries and HQL queries. Fine. Next one. Today I want to explain what is JPA repository and how to perform operations with the JPA repository. can you tell me what is the jpa repository what is jpa repository it is a predefined interface it is a predefined interface available in data jpa using jpa repository we can perform crud operations using jpa repository using jpa repository also we can perform crud operations already to perform the crud operations crud repository available why we should go for jpa repository why we need to go for jpa repository right so jpa repository we can perform we can perform crud operations plus sorting plus pagination plus query by example so these are some extra benefits we are getting when we go for jpa repository now let's understand what is the relation between crud repository and jpa repository so in the data jpa there is one interface called repository interface is available so this repository interface is a marker interface what is the meaning of a marker interface the interface without any method is called as a marker interface so there is a interface called repository in the data jpa that interface is a marker interface when the interface does not have any method then that interface is called as a marker interface and from this marker interface crud repository extending the properties from this marker interface crud repository extending the properties right what is the meaning of extending inheritance right whatever the properties available in the parent interface will be available for the child interface if it is a class parent class methods will be available for the child class 
but do we have anything in the repository interface it is a marker just crud repository extending the properties from that repository interface then we are having another interface called paging and sorting what is the interface guys paging and sorting interface available paging and sorting interface providing some methods to perform pagination i want to perform the pagination to perform the pagination there are few methods provided by paging and sorting this paging and sorting inheriting the properties from crud repository are you guys clear paging and sorting is one interface in that interface there are some methods available to perform the pagination that paging and sorting interface extending the properties from crud repository and there is a another interface called qbe query by example executor qbe I'm, i don't have a space to write the full name i'm writing qbe qbe is also one interface qbe interface providing some methods to perform query by example operation what is query by example we will understand that now finally here we are having jpa repository jpa repository is available this is jpa repository extending the properties from paging and sorting and query by example executor so now is there any relation between the crud repository and jpa repository relation is not available so jpa repository extending crud repository ha huh. jpa repository extending the properties from the crud repository indirectly so what is the meaning of indirectly it is a grand child can i call it as a grand child for the crud repository yes now here repository interface is available repository interface is a super interface here that is a marker interface from the repository interface crud repository extending the properties then paging and sorting interface available from the paging and sorting crud repository paging and sorting is extending from the crud repository paging and sorting provided methods to perform pagination plus sorting i want to sort the data based on the price or based on the name for that methods are available in the paging and sorting i want to perform pagination for that there are methods available i want to execute my query based on some conditions then i can go for query by example executor and here jpa repository is available jpa repository extending the properties from paging and sorting as well as query by example executor now here there are 12 methods available we have seen already in the crud repository there are 12 methods available save method save all count by id count exist by id find by id find all by id find all five methods for delete only okay so total there are 12 methods available and in the paging and sorting also some methods available i don't know exact count here let me take six number random number i'm taking six methods available now assume that here also there are three methods available i'm giving some random number now here who is having more functionality crud repository having more functionality jpa repository will give the more functionality jpa repository will give the more functionality why we can access these 12 methods in the jpa we can access these six methods in the jpa we can access these three methods also in the jpa so that's why i told that whatever the methods we are learning in the crud repository same methods we can use in the jpa repository also along with that some additional methods also will be available for the jpa from where those additional methods are coming from where the additional methods are coming paging and sorting interface methods query by example interface methods now can you tell me can i access paging sorting interface methods in the crud repository why no ha huh. child can access the parent but parent cannot access the child so here 
paging and sorting extending from the CRUD repository. So paging and sorting can access the methods of the CRUD repository, but CRUD repository cannot access the methods of the paging and sorting. JPA can access these methods and JPA can access these methods also. Are you guys able to follow this? Now, let me develop one new project. Now I want to use JPA repository and I want to perform operations on the table. So can you tell me the process to develop the project now? File, new, spring starter project. So let me go with 11, data JPA, JPA repository. JPA repo application. Open. Maven project, Java 11, packaging jar, next, 2.7, Lombok, MySQL driver, and data. JPA. Click on next. Click on finish. Now, project is getting created. So, once the project is created, we can verify dependencies in the pom.xml. Yep, data JPA dependency available. MySQL connector and Lombok also available. Perfect. Next one, we need to configure data source properties. Okay. Let me take. Huh? One minute, sorry. Yeah. Let me copy this file. Okay. Let me close unrelated projects. Yeah. Now, this project is available, JPA repo. Now, you can see boot 2.7, Java 11, data JPA, MySQL connector, and Lombok. Fine. I have copied the properties file. Paste it here. Overwrite all. Go to properties file. What are the properties we are configuring? Data source properties. What is the meaning of data source properties? Database username, password, URL and driver class. And I am giving DDL auto. What is the meaning of DDL auto? Table will be created if it is not available. Show SQL. It will print the queries on the console. Now, let me take one class called, let me take a class with a name called some employee entity. Basically, I want to take one entity called employee entity. Now, so here, let me write some variables, private, integer, EMP ID, private, string, EMP name, private, double, EMP salary, private, string, EMP gender, and private, string, uh, department. Right. ID, name, salary, gender, and department. I want to make this as a entity class. So, what is the annotation? At the rate entity. Now, I want to map this with a table name. I want to give you a different name. Right. Can I write like this? EMP underscore table. Right. EMP underscore table. Like this I can give table name. If I don't write at the rate table, what will happen? If I don't write the table, what will happen? Class name will be considered as a table name. And here, I want to map ID to a primary key column. How to map this to a primary key column? At the rate ID. I want setters, getters at the rate data. Along with this, I want constructor with arguments and zero param constructor also. How can I do this? At the rate all arcs constructor, at the rate no arcs constructor. So that my entity class is ready. Check this. I am using one annotation called at the rate entity. What is the meaning of at the rate entity? It is used to make our Java class as an entity class. What is the meaning of at the rate table? To map our Java class to the database table. What is the meaning of at the rate data? Setters and getters. Lombok annotation. What is all arcs constructor? I want a parameter as a constructor with all the variables. What is no arcs constructor? Zero param constructor. Fine. Now I need a repository for this. Okay. Let me create one repository. Interface, em employee repository. 
now i will keep this in a package today morning i have seen people are creating everything in the single package that is the worst programming practice you need to maintain separate separate packages for that now it is a normal java interface how to make it as a jpi interface by using extends the properties from jpi repository earlier we used crud repository now i am going for jpi repository it is expecting two arguments what are those two arguments <clears throat> what are those two arguments one is the entity class and second one is the primary key of the entity what is the primary key of the entity integer so i am specifying my employee repository extending the properties from jpi repository do i need to write any method no predefined methods are available okay now let's go here go to our start class and get the return type of the run method what is the return type of the run method what is the return type of the run method configurable application context now get the return type so we are getting context object from this context object can i get the repository bean object how to get that context dot get bean of employee employee repository dot class okay what it is going to provide sorry 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 employee repository dot class what it is going to return a repository object it is going to return employee repository is a class or it is a interface interface how it will give the object for the interface it will give the object for the implementation class right can we check the implementation class name how to check that system dot out dot print ln repository dot get class dot get name get class dot get name right now first let me run and see here really are we able to connect with the database or not let me go to the database what is our table name use sbms yep then show tables right currently there is a one table called book table now let me run this program auto ddl is enabled in the resources folder you can see auto ddl enabled as update that means if the table is not available for the entity it will create the table <clears throat> right click run as boot application <clears throat> now can you see here create table query executed or not yes table is created primary key is also added employee id and what is the implementation class name proxy class is the implementation class name now i want to insert the record what is the method i need to use to insert the record what is the method i need to use repository is dot save employee e1 is equal to new employee i have a parameter as a constructor id 1 name next one is the name some john what is the second value salary gender department here it is a salary gender department ha huh. right this is a string value i should give in the double quotes so with this i am able to represent one employee record by using parameters as a constructor i am storing the data into employee object now can i simply call repository dot save of e1 yes so system dot out dot print ln record saved record saved run this check the console yep insert query is executed before insert query what it is doing it is executing a select query so that select query why that select query getting executed to check the presence of the record it is used to check the presence of the record now select star from emp underscore table now run this query are we able to insert the record yes 
so similarly can i insert multiple records can i insert multiple records i want to insert some five to six records now e2 3 4 5 and 6 one is already available let me go with 2 3 4 y right let me change the names john already hai na right 5000 15000 25000 35000 45000 and 55000 okay so here female record is available and next one sales department and admin department and marketing department marketing department and i can say account account department and here hr department and here manager department something like this so i am having some records here i want to insert all the records at a time how can i insert all the records at a time so can i call save all yes so repository dot save all now i want to pass in the array format arrays dot as list of e1 comma e2 comma e3 e4 e5 e6 all these records will be converted to one array list i will be converted to one list object that list object i am giving to the save all method so that all the records will be inserted right now how many queries will be executed 6 plus 6 12 queries will execute why 12 queries first to check the presence of the record if the record is not present then insert if the record is available then update now before inserting check our table select the star from emp table there is one record available now i am starting from 2 run as boot application yes so lot of queries are going to execute finally records are inserted 1 2 3 4 5 6 six records are inserted first it selected to identify the presence of the record because save method save all method are called as upsort methods what is the meaning of upsort it is used for updating as well as for inserting right now let's go and check the table select star from the table now you can see there are total seven records are available now the records are inserted into table now here let me remove this i don't think it is required now right i'm removing this so now here i'm keeping here if you want to use you can do that now i want to retrieve the records based on the salary descending order are you guys getting my point i want to retrieve the records based on the salary descending order how can we do that in the normal sql query select the star from emp table order by emp underscore salary descending all are by descending so what is the meaning of this query order by descending it is going to retrieve the records in the salary wise descending order can i call it is a sorting technique can i call it is a sorting technique now i want to retrieve the records in the same fashion first of all how to retrieve all the records from the table how to retrieve all the records from the table find all method can i go for find all now yes let me go for find all right repository object is already available using this repository object i want to call the find all method repository dot find all repository dot find all right i got employees records i want to print these employee records right emps dot for each system dot out double colon print all you no need to write the for each loop also you can go for for each method which introduced in the java 1.8 and i am using a method reference now run as boot application now check this am i able to get the records 
all the records are coming or not so how the records are coming now are they coming in the descending order or salary in the ascending order they are coming normally in the which order we have inserted in the same order the records are coming i inserted the records with the salary in the ascending order so the records are coming with the salary ascending order now i want to retrieve the records based on the name alphabetical sorting order are you guys getting my point i want to sort the records based on the employee name if the name is starting with a that record should come first alphabetical wise i want to sort the records are you guys able to follow me now here how can we do that sorting by using this jpa repository first of all let us go to jpa repository what this jpa repository is doing extending from where paging and sorting and along with that query by example so is this diagram true now yes jpa repository extending the properties from paging and sorting and query by example executor now go to paging and sorting repository can you check this what it is doing it is extending from crud repository or not now go to crud repository what it is doing extending from repository go to repository any method available no so this diagram is correct or not yes crud repository is one marker interface there is no method available in the interface from that interface our crud repository extending the properties in the crud repository there are some methods available from the crud repository paging and sorting extending the properties from the paging and sorting jpa extending the properties jpa extending from another interface also query by example executor now here let me go for jpa repository first it is extending from paging and sorting if you want to perform pagination or sorting if you want to perform pagination and sorting then you have to use the methods which are available in the paging and sorting repository go inside this interface and check the method wow what is this method what is the method find all so find all what is the parameter sort object another find all what is the parameter pageable so total there are how many methods available here there are only two methods available what are those two methods one is find all with the sort another one is find all with the pageable so that means guys here here when you write when you write find all method what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that find all it is going to retrieve all the records available in the table if you go for find all with the sort object it is used to retrieve the records with the sorting order if i go for find all with the pageable object with the pageable object then it is going to provide pagination i want to retrieve only first two three records for displaying in the first page so how can i tell that i want only first page data by passing pageable object i want to perform sorting operation based on the employee name or based on the employee salary that the sort object data i need to pass for the find all method this concept is called as method overloading what is this concept method overloading what is the meaning of method overloading writing a same method with different parameters is called as method overloading now find all with sort object find all with pageable object is there those methods are available in the paging and sorting repository next one there is a another interface called query by example executor query by example executor sir who taught me all these things which methods are available what is the parameter who who taught me all these things self learning that is called self learning nobody will teach me right tomorrow once you go to the company also nobody will teach you so all these things i have analyzed all these things i have analyzed so here we are extending from jpa so now i will go to the source code of the jpa i will check it 
sir what is there in the jpa are jpa extending from the paging what is this paging go inside that oh ho oh. there are two methods available one is taking the sort as a object another one is taking pageable as a object and there is a another interface available go to that what is there find one again there is a find all with example again there is find all with example comma sort find all example comma pageable count with example exist with example find by with example like that there are several methods available in the query by example executor also nobody will teach you all these things you have to learn on your own when you understand the internals of the framework then you can write the code easily write it fine now i got the clarity what is the jpa repository what is the difference between crud repository and jpa repository so what is the difference between crud repository and jpa repository crud repository is to perform only crud operation whereas in the jpa we can perform paging and sorting plus query by example plus crud operations also now i want to retrieve all the records yep currently i want to retrieve all the records which method i am calling find all method i am calling run run this method i am getting all the records and i am printing those records on the console now i want to go for sorting based on the employee name i want to go for sorting based on the employee name let's go here sort dot there is a concept called sort dot sort dot sort sort by sort dot by what is the name employee name dot ascending sort dot by employee name dot ascending what is the meaning of that i want to perform sorting based on the employee name in the ascending order now let us take this object pass to find all so what is the parameter i am passing to find all method sort object what is there in the sort object employee name in the ascending order so it will retrieve employee records with the alphabetical order now right click run as boot application now check the query now see here am i getting in the sorted order a b c d e f g h like this yes now check the query which is executed ha uh, order by employee name ascending right suppose if i want to go for descending then there is a method called descending method is available i'm going to get the records in the descending order let me call it as a sort now that sort object i am passing as a parameter to find all if i remove the sort as it is how the records are inserted in the table as it is it is going to retrieve the record if i want to apply the sort i need to create the sort object i need to pass the sort object to the find all method run this program run this program now we are going to get in the descending order suppose i want to retrieve the records based on the salary in the descending order then what i will do i will specify employee salary i will specify employee salary now run this program now check it 55000 is the highest coming first 5000 is the lowest coming last that is in the descending order now here sir can we do the sorting based on multiple columns yes that is also possible now if you see sort dot by what it is taking by with a list of properties that means i can specify employee name comma employee salary dot dot descending can i pass multiple properties also for sorting technique yes now let me run this now check the query which is generated order by name descending comma salary descending like this can i sort based on multiple columns data yes that is also possible with this condition clear guys 
next one we need to understand what is pageable what is the pageable now first we need to talk about pagination what is the meaning of a pagination ha huh. retrieving the records dividing the total records dividing total records into multiple pages multiple pages is called as pagination right dividing total records into multiple pages is called as pagination now here when you are going for the pagination the first thing that you need to understand what is your page size that means how many records you want to display for one page what is the google page size 10 flipkart page size 24 gmail page size 50 gmail 50 when you go for inbox 50 mails will be displayed at a time if you want 51 mail go to the next page right why they are retrieving only few records not all the records from the table performance issue by default it is a performance issue now if you go to gmail i don't know is it log in shekhar sir mail id yeah now it is logged in correct can you see there are 981 mails available in the mail id but how many are displaying here 1 to 50 when i click on the next one then again 51 to 100 so what is the default page size here 50 is the default page size so as i, I have shown you yesterday if you go for google i'm typing what is spring boot now how many records are available crores of records are available do you think that google retrieving all the records from the table no so it is it is going to give you some page numbers below that is called pagination dividing total records into multiple pages is called as pagination let me take my page size as 3 let me take my page size as 3 in my table how many records are available select star from table employee table now there are total seven records are available now what is my page size 3 what is the meaning of that in every page only three records should be available now total records available in the table seven total records total records total records 7 now total pages how many pages are required now total how many pages are required three pages are required in the first page three records will display in the second page three records will display in the last page one record will display got it now i want to retrieve the records by using pagination concept pagination is the process of dividing total records into multiple pages when we are going for the pagination we need to decide what is our page size okay now what is page number what is the page size and what is the page number now if i go for first page now if i go for first page what will happen it will display first three records okay it will display first three records if i go for second page right then what it will display four five six records okay now if i go for third page it will display last record that is the seventh record seventh record what is the page number page total records total records in the table total records in the table are 7 and i am setting page size as 3 page number user will select the page number when you go for google when you search something by default they are considering as a first page if you want to get the more data go for the second page if you want to get the more data go for third page so page number will come from the ui page number will come from the ui total records available in the table are 7 page size is 3 first page first three records will display second page middle three records four five six records should display last page last record should display how can we do that by using jpa now here observe 
sort object is available here guys we need to create we need to create one object called page request what is the object we need to create page request object we need to create page request dot of what is your page number and what is your page size first parameter will represent the page number and the second parameter will represent the page size are you able to follow me yes what is the page request dot of method will do it will tell to jpa user want to get which page data and how many records should display for that page what is the page number and what is the page size that we are informing to data jpa find all method by using page request object page request dot of page number comma page size page number comma page size what is my page size what is my page size 3 okay page size is always a fixed value in the project can i ask google to change the inbox page size to 60 records that is a fixed value they have already fixed that from so long in the gmail page size is 50 in the facebook some size will be available to display that in the flipkart 24 in the google 10 is available similarly in my application i'm taking the page size as a three okay coming to page number guys see here page number for end user it is one but here always we need to consider page number from zero we need to consider the page number from the zero now if user want to get the page number one data for the jpa we need to give the page number as one minus one one minus one right so you always we need to represent assume that user want to get the first page data user want to get the first page data first page data means page number minus one what is the meaning of one minus one zero for the jpa we need to give the page number as a zero Suppose if a user select page number as a 2, 2 minus 1, that will consider as a 1. So in the JPA, page number should start from 0. 0 will represent the first page. 1 will represent how array index will start from 0. Here also page number will start from 0. Here I am taking the page number as 1. Currently I am taking a dummy value. Are we going to hard code the page number in the program? No. From where the page number will come? Page number will come from the user UI. So whatever the number coming from the UI, for that number we need to do minus 1. Because page number should start from 0. Right. So 0 is I am doing that 1 minus 1 that will become 0. What is the meaning of 0 comma 3? Huh. It has to take the first two, 3 records available in the table. Now let me execute this here i want to pass page request object take the page request object let me pass page request object to find all method page request dot of So page request dot of what it is giving? It is giving pageable. One minute. Yeah, correct. Here I'm taking page request dot of. What is the return type of the of method? Pageable object. What is the pageable object? It is a interface. Instead of that, can I store that into page request? Yes, we can store that into page request also. Now here, guys, earlier. When I call the find all method, what is the return type? When I call the find all method, what is the return type? List it is giving. Now, when you pass page object as a parameter, it will also return page object, page of employee. This page of employee will represent your page data. What is your page data? Three. Three records will come. These three records belongs to which page? 1 minus 1, 0. That means first page. Now let me go for 
find all find all dot get find all dot get the content it will give me list of employees okay when you call find all method directly you will get the list of employees but when you call find all method with the page object it will return the page content so from that page object you need to get the content when you call the get content it will give the list of employee how many employees will come now how many employees will come now why only three page size is three page size is three run as boot application can you see that how many there are total how many records available in the table total there are seven records available in the table which records it is retrieving first three records only it is retrieving now let me change the page number to two two minus one what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that one that means first page or second page for end user it is a second page right run as boot application what records are coming now next three records are coming if i go for page number as three last how many records are there in the last page only seventh record will come only one record is coming so you can see the magic in the query okay it is using limit limit function it is using in the mysql database to get that records right so now now you are able to understand what is sorting and what is pagination when we implement this pagination in the web application then maja aayega right we will get the page numbers when i click one first three cards three records should display when i click on two next three records should display when i click on three previous button next button in the spring web mvc we will develop that pagination also right when we are going to develop spring web application by using web mvc at that time we will do pagination with the user interface also currently we are working on the data jpa we are able to understand how to perform the pagination by using data jpa so there is a method called find all method for the find all method you need to pass the page request object what is there in the page request object what is the what is the what is the object i am what is there in the pagination object page number and page size page size is always fixed value page number will change based on the user requirement user can click on one user can click on two user can click on three like that user can click on that value then that number we will take and we will supply to page request object now can i pass both sort object and page object for the find all do we have any such kind of method no we have a method find all with sort find all with pageable can i pass both sort comma pageable that is not possible right so this is the logic which will give you the pagination concept here in this logic i am doing sorting if you want you can do the sorting and here pagination also this logic i am commenting sorry not this perfect yep so with this you understand how to pass sort object as a parameter for find all method like this you can pass sort object as a parameter for this and you can pass page object also as a parameter for this right perfect so now with this we are clear find all find all with the sort find all with the page object what is the meaning of find all with the sort i want to sort it in the ascending order or in the descending order find all with the page object i want to perform the pagination give the page number give the page size based on that it will retrieve the records if you give 1 minus 1 if you give 0 here 
first three records. If I give one here, next three records. If I give two here, last records it is going to retrieve. Total there are seven records are available. Perfect. Next one, I want to go for query by example executor. Already in the JDBC we have done that example. In the servlet also we have implemented that example. I want to retrieve the data by using dynamic SQL query. What is the meaning of dynamic SQL? If user give the input, then only you need to add in the where class. I have shown you that example with the Flipkart scenario. In the Flipkart, mobiles are available. Okay, mobile phones are available in the Flipkart. Let me go for this mobile. Yeah. Yeah, some mobiles are coming. So now let me clear the filter. Mobiles. Yes. Go to mobiles. Yeah, total how many mobiles are coming now? I clicked on MI brand. I clicked on MI brand. So go to home page. What is this? What is this? Flipkart having some issue. Huh. Fine. Now see how many products are available. 7,824 products are available. Now if I select the brand as Apple. Now what will happen? 315 mobiles are coming here. Right. So can I say when I select Apple. Can I say the query got changed in the background? Earlier it is using, if I clear the filter, select a star from mobiles. So it is giving me total 7,824 mobiles. Now, after seeing these mobiles, I'm selecting Apple. So I added a filter. When I added a filter, now it is giving 428 products. Again, I'm going to select internal storage as 256 GB and above. Now I am getting 112 products. So when I add a filter, the query is getting changed. So now how that dynamic query getting prepared? Already we implemented dynamic query by using prepared statement. So here you no need to write if condition, else condition and all. You can easily prepare dynamic queries by using JPA repository query by example concept. Got it. Now see here, I want to retrieve a record. I want to retrieve a record based on, I want to retrieve the records based on employee gender or based on the employee department. Okay. Now here, I will create one object called employee object. Employee EMP is equal to new employee. Now I'm creating the object for my entity class. EMP dot set gender as something like male and set it. Okay. I am creating my entity class. In that entity class, I am setting the employee gender as a male. Now, here I am going to use example dot of EMP. What I am calling guys? Example dot of EMP. What is the return type of this? It is giving me one example object. Now I'm going to call repository dot find all by passing this example object. That's it. Okay. System dot, uh, I can say here EMP is dot for each system dot out double colon print alert. What is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Here observe. Whenever you call find all method without passing anything, what will happen? It is going to retrieve all the records. Run this. Check this. Am I getting all the seven records available in the table? 
yes all the seven records available in the table coming with the find all now here i am creating my employee object for the employee object i am setting the gender as a male that employee object i am passing to off method that means here whenever you use the example concept it will check in your entity which properties are having the data those property columns will be added to where clause that is called a dynamic query if i don't if i add the gender and if i am converting this to the example if i pass this example object to find all method it is equal to select a star from employee where gender is equal to male why it is using only gender in the where class because in the entity only gender is available right click run as boot application now check how many records are coming ah uh, 1 2 3 4 5 rec fifth record is not coming why fifth record is not coming because it is female record now check the query select a star from the table is it using gender in the where class yes right suppose for example for example i'm going to set the department also i'm going to set the department also emp dot set a department as a sum admin department how many properties are having the data in the entity class how many properties are having the data in the entity class two properties are available what is the meaning of that how the query will be prepared select a star from employee where gender is equal to male and the department is equal to admin so whatever the data you set to the entity object with that data it will prepare the query now sir find by methods are available example by query is available when to go for find by method when to go for example can you think and tell me both are used to retrieve the data only right by using find by method also i can retrieve the data by using query by example also i can retrieve the data when i should go for find by method when i should go for example come on right when you are going for a static method that means you know that which columns you need to use in the class then you can go for find by method but here if you go for the flipkart scenario does flipkart does flipkart people know what are the filters i am going to apply they don't know right so the here whenever we have dynamic search in our project then we need to go for example tomorrow when i develop a web application i will take the form data if a gender comes in the form data i will add the gender to entity if a department comes from the ui then only i will add the department whatever the values you set to the entity only with the values dynamically query will be created suppose if i don't set the gender if i don't set the gender it will prepare a query select star from employee where department is equal to admin if i set the gender select star from table where department is equal to admin and gender is equal to male so here query creation is a static process query creation is a dynamic process ha huh. what values what columns what columns you want to append in the where clause for those column variables set the data now it will retrieve the record based on the two columns two filters basically so employee three coming because gender is male department is admin check the query where gender is equal to given value department is equal to given value so are you able to understand what is query by example what is query by example yes query by example it is used for dynamic search operation it is used to prepare it is used to prepare dynamic query based on data available 
in entity class object right query by example is used to prepare dynamic query based on data available in the entity class object if i want to filter the data with four properties then four properties i will set to entity object then those four properties will be added to where class so here currently i am hard coding the values here tomorrow this data will come from the ui in the web application this data will come from the ui got my point yes good so with this we understood what is crud repository and what is jpa repository so now here also can i write a custom query guys here also can i write a custom query private list of private list of employee get emps right private list of employee get emps and can i go for at the rate query yes value is equal to select star from emp underscore table comma native query is equal to true select star from yep right get emps i am using true i am using for this it is a native query private list employee of get emps method requires a body yeah sorry it is the mistake it should be public right now i am writing a custom query in the jpa can i execute this custom query also yes so right you can write the native query or you can write the sql query also and you can retrieve that you got it what is jpa repository and find jpa repository sorting pagination and query by example yes people faces are getting blank when I, your golden days are completed from today from yesterday onward the batting started morning batch assignment will be available evening batch assignment will be available you have to submit both update your record update record in table using custom query okay guys i don't want to go for save method i want you to write a update query to update your record by using custom query concept and the second one delete record in table using custom query try to insert the record insert record in table using custom query right try that what is the possibility is available try that direct insert not possible one table data you can insert into another table you can try that insert operation don't use the save method without save method i want you to insert a record try insert query and i want you to update a record without save method i want to delete a record without save method in the jpa repository application you got the clarity what is the assignment update record in the table using custom query delete record in table using custom query insert the record in the table using custom query so i want you people to try without predefined methods without predefined methods right custom query already mentioned can you go for find by method find by methods why no find by methods will support only for retrieval but what is my task update insert delete so you should not go for predefined methods you should not go for find by method you need to write the custom query with that custom query you should be able to insert update and delete you got it so if you try then you will understand how to do it so you can google it you can google it everything will be available in the google the only thing how to search it fine any questions anyone huh
I'm not getting. Example of yeah, we'll discuss those. We'll discuss those. Online people every day they will say that we have doubt, we have doubt. Today I have taken the doubt class. Only thirty people joined, and out of the thirty, only five people asked the doubts. For them, I came by four o'clock to institute. Online students, anybody having any question? Guys, anybody from offline, any question? Fine, good. Fine, guys, we'll meet in the tomorrow's class.